So Saturday, we're shooting this scene for the movie. And we invited everyone down to Bryant Park to come shoot with us. You know, any listeners who wanted to come down, we had a real nice turnout, and people were just really into the movie and having fun. There's a scene in the movie that called for a band, you know. Yeah. So when I was when we were first talking about it, I said my fantasy would be to have ACDC do this scene, but of course, I don't that's know, not how, possible. How so we where get, do we go from there? Yeah, how do we get ACDC <laughs> to do anything? You know what I mean? Because those guys, you know. Yeah. So yeah. anyway, we're doing this scene. I don't want to give away the scene too much, but I take to the stage, and we're all up there and everything, and. And then all of a sudden, I introduce ACDC. Well, the crowd out there had no oh. idea. And on Friday, when I said to everyone, come on down, I, didn't, I couldn't go on the air and say ACDC is going to be there because they wouldn't, the park commission wouldn't let us shoot if I announced that you know, we were all going to be there together because they were afraid then it would be like 100,000 people to show up and they'll have a real problem on their hands. Right. That's right there, me son. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, all of a sudden, ACDC comes out, and then all of a sudden, you hear like this familiar riff. It was like... Oh. And the crowd is going nuts. They went wild. <laughs> And I'm just sitting, I'm standing there rocking, you know? Just my mind is blown. I love having you guys in the movie. It's just such a, isn't it a cool moment? There was a lot going on there. You know, it was, it was almost live. You know, that, you know, at the start when you're shooting with them, when the whole crowd comes in at the end. It felt real. It was good, you know? It was real good. And you know what was weird, too? Like, uh, all of a sudden, one of the takes, you guys blew up smoke bombs on the stage. And almost got you. And almost it, nailed, it, yeah, nailed you almost guy, got you. You know, I'm not saying I'm a dozy bugger, but I am. At that time in the morning, and when the producer guy or the guy said, whatever you do, keep away from the, this part of this stage because there's going to be big smoke bombs going up and it's going to explode. And I, yeah, yeah. You know, straight in one ear, out the other. Right. And I get on the stage. And, start and you went right next and to the stage. And I just disappeared in this big cloud of smoke. I'm going, oh. Uh-oh. I just went out. And then yeah. Move to it. The band wasn't used to it. In movies, you, gotta, like, you get in the middle of a song and then all of a sudden they stop you. Right. I. Uh, that was I, weird, I, I, wasn't that, it? That puts you off a bit, I guess. Yeah. Such a, such yeah but, a, but did you see what happened? Yeah, on one of the takes when they said, and go, and a guy didn't roll a tip, but Ang just out of habit just started playing. Right. right. Did right. you started, know that happened? No, I mean, what they, happened? They played live they once played, because the tape live. wasn't on. Yeah, I know. And so they just started playing, and nobody ever knew that it wasn't on the tape. Wow, that time. that's pretty cool. But, and, and, all the, and the woman's coach going, I can't have this. You know, the dad is. <laughs> yeah, just, we just stop. I need control. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Betty. I like when Betty has to yell at the crowd and yell at the band. She, I can't have this. I, it's just, you know, come on, work with me, people. <laughs> I felt bad for Betty. She said, Well, you know, why don't you go over and talk? I'll tell you what to say to the band. You talk to them because you can interpret what they're saying for me. <laughs> I guess it's like she goes over and goes, Okay, I went over to Angus. Uh, First, I tried talking to you. I go, Brian, when the band comes out, how are you going to stage this thing? And he goes, oh, blah, blah, blah. and then Betty's standing there and goes, what did he say? So he goes, blah, 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 blah. you know, he's smoking the cigarette. He's all wasted. And he's like, blah, blah, blah. I go, I got to be honest with you, Betty. I know Brian, but. I don't know what I, he's saying. I don't know said. what he's saying. So let me go over and ask Angus, because maybe he's sort of like the guy, you know, who does the staging and everything, because Brian's the lead singer and he's just a little messed up. So I go over to Angus and I say, Angus, look. You're the guy. Tell me what's going to happen here. When you guys come out, how do you want to stage it? You want to come up from the left? If I come up and, and walk around to the right, should I shake your hand here? He goes, brains ain't me forte. <laughs> <laughs> and walks away. <laughs> and then like with the, nobody no, can deal with anybody in the whole goddamn band. So I just said to Betty, look, I'm not going to sit here and try and interpret this man. That is hysterical. They're going to just come out and do whatever they want, That's have 57 right. billion cameras. Them. Yeah. You know, Betty's got that great look on her face when you're talking to her, this, this last producer, Lassie. Because I was talking to her, and I was, you know that sort of silly smell where you, it looks like they've got wind? Yeah, you know? that glazed look. She just was going, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> looked like she had to pass gas. Uh, no, it looked like she had wind, but what it was was a puzzled look. Oh, there's another corker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She was puzzled. I mean, everyone was. Well, we, we I did a scene. Uh, there's another scene with a bunch of rock stars in this movie. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, I worked with uh, Slash from Guns N' Roses and, and stuff. And Betty was trying to direct them. Standing and I, up. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, almost standing up. <laughs> so I, and Ozzy Osbourne, you know. Beginning, anyway. Yeah, so I, uh, I walk over to those guys, and uh, Betty says to me, you better, you just better go tell, I'll tell you what to tell them to do, but you better go talk to them, because I don't think they're even paying attention. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs>